people call us the Manchester City of Scottish football, lower leagues, but it's, it's far from it. I'm John Gall, Managing Director of Brownings and Bakers in Kilmarnock, and I'm also President of Darville Football Club. I've been in the baking industry all my life. It was my grand and grandfather which started the company in 1945, and it's just went from there. And over the years, and I started supplying Kilmarnock Football Club with pies, and so came the famous Kelly pie. I went from baking to football, but football's always been in my blood, you know. Um, my son played with Darvel, so I went and started to watch them playing every week, and it was great. I, I started to love it. Darvel for years and years were one of the worst clubs in Ayrshire or the West region of junior football. One day, the owner of the club came up and handed me the keys, and he says, I'm not doing this any longer. And it's, uh, it's just went from there. When I was in school, it was always my dream to, to be a footballer. And I started at Queen of the South, then I moved to Ross County, and then moved to St Byrne, and then Falkirk. Uh, my phone was uh, going a bit mad. There's a few people asking me oh, what you do and stuff like that, but I just wanted to enjoy it. And I didn't want to just stay senior just for the sake of it. Obviously, there's going to be people that talk about money and stuff like that, but I mean, it's not just about money. We're all, we're all in the same boat here. We want to try and move up the leagues, I think. We've got the squad that we can achieve that. I mean, make sure I play centre midfield for Darville. Browning's investment in Darville is only for the infrastructure of the club. It's for the facilities, to upgrade the facilities at the club. A lot of people think that they're trying to buy their way to win the league. A lot of rubbish. Ugh, it's a lot of rubbish, isn't it? I mean, I, I, I feel like I've been at other clubs. Um, I know what other teams have been paying, and it's it's no different. Alan McKenzie, striker for Davo. It's the best of stuff. It's the best of gear. It's the best of parks. Well, I'd, I'd seen them on Twitter, the changing room, so I knew what they looked like. And I mean, you're pr probably there's nothing better in Scotland at the moment. The home dressing room is the envy of Scottish football now. It's actually better than Kilmarnock's. It's better than Hamilton's, it's better than Motherwell's, it's better than most championship teams. I've been junior all my life, so I'm used to wee dark rooms, but it's, it's, it's a different level. It's got a charging station for the players' phones. So when they're out in the park, they come back and their, their phone's charged fully. And that's one of the, the selling points that we give them, you know. I had offers for League One and League Two, but probably going to be more mid-table clubs where you're not really fighting for anything. I'd rather come here and you're challenging every week up the top end of the table. I play like Ian Sines, you've heard the stories, big name players who have played senior all their days coming to Davo. It can only be good for your team, for my progression, for everybody else's progression. What feeling around in that side, Jordan? Great on that left hand side. The manager has got his budget. Michael works within his budget, so I have no input in any players coming in. But he does send me the odd text to say, guess who's signing the tomorrow? And I'll say, oh, who's that? Who's that? You know? And I'm going, wow. Where do we stop? What's the dream of every club? To go as far as you can. Years ago, it was one man and his dog, you know. Next year, we're looking for crowds between 400 and 1,500. Obviously, we, we want to win the league. I want to win the league. I'm 29 now, so I'm hoping in a few years, at that time, we're in League Two. Just want to enjoy it now, and hopefully I can still play for the next six, seven years. And I'm not here just to stay a season and then, and then leave. It's hopefully part of to something that's going to be successful and move up. The club is self-sufficient. If I was to walk away tomorrow, the club would still go forward, and that's the way I have to keep it. Everything is in progress, and it's working exactly the way we want it to work. Good Darvo get European football. Well, there's a thing. <laughs>